Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be showing you how you can zoom in in HitFilm 4 Express. So there are two types of zoom ins I'm going to do. The first is just to do a simple zoom in where it goes cuts from straight zoomed out to zoomed in and then another type of zoom in where it smoothly zooms in like a Ken Burns in a photo or something. So as you can see I've got this video clip here it's just of a flower and I've applied some grading to it but we don't really need to worry about that. What we want to do is zoom in. So say I want to zoom in in this specific part of this clip all I have to do is go down to the slice tool here and slice it at those two positions go back to the selection tool select the middle clip where I want it to zoom in and then in our controls panel in our transform all we need to do is scale it up and that will zoom it in for us. If we scale it down it will not fill the frame so we need to scale it up so that it fills the whole frame. We can also adjust the position to make it zoom in to a certain point. And now it cuts straight from zooming out to zooming in and then zooming out again. But say we want to do a smooth transition. This is where it gets a bit trickier. Let's undo all of this and now we're going to have to do something different. We can't do this in the editor. We have to do it in a composite shot. So select your clip and press make composite shot. Leave everything the same, you can rename it whatever you want and press OK. Now in this composite shot we're going to create our own zoom in. So we're going to use a technique called keyframing to create a smooth zoom in. I have a video on keyframing that covers everything basically there is to know about keyframing in HitFilm 4 Express but today we're just going to go and look at how we can use keyframing to zoom in. So to start keyframing, all you have to do is open up your layer and go into your transform and as you can see we have our scale position right here. And the idea is we're going to make it wide here and at the end of the video we're going to make it zoomed in right on the flower. Alright, so set it back to 100% and now to enable keyframing we can click here. So, so what is keyframing? A keyframe is a a set point in time and at that point in time you set a value for a certain position. You set a value. So for example at the very beginning I want the scale to be 100% and then at the end I will create another keyframe for the scale to be say 300% or so. And that way between the two keyframes it will smoothly move. So to activate keyframing all you have to do is click on this circle next to the position the next to the value you want to keyframe. So we want to keyframe the scale. You just click on it and you see this diamond appears. Now with this diamond um, it automatically creates a create keyframe. So now the computer knows that at the very beginning of this video it's scaled all the way out. And if we go into the end of our video and we just change the position then it will automatically create yet another keyframe for us. Let's set it to 300% and you can see that now between the two keyframes it smoothly transitions from being scaled up at 100% to 185 all the way to 300. So that's pretty much how you do it. And you can keep changing the scale, adding more keyframes. For example, maybe I want it to be 400% right here. Now it's going to zoom right in and then, as we can see, move out a bit. So that's pretty much how you keyframe uh, the scale so that it zooms in. And you can always go back and set this to be 100% or something. But what if I want to zoom into a certain position in the video? To do that I have to keyframe the position too. So let's just go back to the beginning of the video here and let's set a keyframe for the position to be 0, 0. Now let's scrub through until we come to the very point where this keyframe is. And you'll see where exactly this keyframe is because at the frame where the keyframe is it'll have a little dot in that scale here. And I'm just going to move it to the, uh, the bottom of the video, bottom, bottom left hand corner say. Perfect. And now as you can see, it zooms into that corner. And back again here, we can set the position to be 0, 0, and we'll automatically create those keyframes for us, like so. So that's pretty much it, guys. That's how you zoom in in HitFilm 4 Express. I hope this video was useful to you. I hope it helped you. Next week's video, just to give you a little bit of a hint, is to do with Blender. 
and it's also to do with motion tracking. So, I will see you guys in that video. Stay shiny, bye!